Ever wondered if someone likes you but you're not sure? It's a common conundrum, isn't it? Navigating the world of emotions and signals can be like walking through a maze blindfolded. Sometimes, the signs of attraction aren't as clear as we'd like them to be. Trying to figure out if someone is interested in you can feel like trying to solve a complex puzzle. But don't worry, we're here to help. So let's delve into the top 10 signs that someone might just be into you. First off, eye contact. It's one of the most basic yet powerful forms of human communication. When someone is interested in you, they tend to lock eyes with you more often. It's their subconscious way of connecting, of saying, I see you and I'm focused on you. They're not just looking at you, they're seeing you, all of you. It's like they're trying to catch every word you say, every expression you make, and every thought you might be thinking. It's intense and it's intimate. But remember, this isn't a staring contest. It's about those lingering glances, those moments when time seems to slow down just a bit. It's about the sparkle in their eyes when they're looking at you. It's about the way their gaze softens when you're sharing something personal. So if they can't seem to take their eyes off you, it could be a sign they're interested. Next up, smiles. A smile can be a powerful tool in non-verbal communication. It's a universal sign of happiness, warmth and friendliness. But when it comes to deciphering if someone likes you, their smiling behavior can be a significant clue. You see, when someone is attracted to you, they may find themselves frequently smiling in your presence. This isn't just a polite or casual smile either. We're talking about those genuine smiles that crinkle the eyes, light up the face, and seem to last a little longer than usual. It's as if their joy can't be contained, and it spills out in the form of a radiant smile every time they see you or converse with you. It's like you're the punchline to their favorite joke, and they can't help but beam every time. So if they're always grinning around you, it could be a sign. Thirdly, showing interest. Now this one might seem obvious, but it's more than just asking you about your day. When someone is genuinely into you, they'll want to know more about who you are as a person. They'll ask about your passions, your dreams, your opinions. They'll remember the little details you share, even the ones that you might think are insignificant. They'll celebrate your victories and they'll be there to comfort you in your losses. They're not just passing the time or making small talk, they're investing in getting to know you better. They'll be curious about your world and they'll want to be a part of it. They'll listen to you, really listen, not just wait for their turn to speak. So pay attention to their curiosity about your life. If they're always eager to hear your thoughts, they might just like you. Fourth sign, getting close. Think about the times you've spent together. Do they always seem to be around whether it's at work, school or social events? This might be more than just a coincidence. When someone is attracted to you, they'll naturally want to close the distance. They might try to sit next to you at a group dinner or choose the desk next to yours in the library. They might even find reasons to walk you to your car or accompany you to the store. It's all about proximity. Being physically close allows for more interaction, more conversations and more opportunities to build a connection. It's also a subtle, non-verbal way to express interest. So, pay attention to those who always seem to be in your orbit. It's not about being invasive or crossing boundaries, but about a genuine desire to be near you. If they're always around, it could be a sign. Fifth sign, touching. Now this isn't about anything inappropriate or invasive. It's about those little touches that seem almost accidental. Maybe they lightly tap your arm when they're laughing at your joke, or they might brush off a non-existent piece of lint from your shoulder. These touches are often so subtle, yet they hold a lot of meaning. It's their way of establishing a physical connection, of breaking down that invisible barrier that separates two people. It's a sweet, almost innocent way of saying, I want to be closer to you. However, it's important not to jump to conclusions based solely on this sign. Some people are naturally more touchy than others, so it could just be a part of their personality. But if you notice this sign along with the others we've discussed, it could indeed indicate that they have feelings for you. If they're always finding a reason to touch you, it might be a sign. Sixth sign, flirting. Flirting is a universal sign of attraction, and it's a playful way for people to express their interest in one another. When someone is into you, they might often engage in flirtatious behavior with you. 
This could mean they tease you lightly, give you playful compliments, or even use subtle body language such as playful touches or lingering glances. They might also toss in some witty banter or engage in playful arguments, all in the name of keeping the conversation lively and interesting. Remember, flirting isn't always overt. Sometimes it's a subtle dance of words and gestures, meant to express interest without making it too obvious. It's all about the playful connection and chemistry. So, watch out for those playful jibes, those teasing remarks and those lingering moments. If they're always flirting, it could be a sign they're into you. Seventh sign, spending time together. When someone is genuinely interested in you, they'll want to spend as much time with you as possible. It's not about the quantity, but the quality of time spent. They might plan special moments just to enjoy your company. This could be anything from a quiet dinner at a favorite restaurant to a movie night at home or even a simple walk in the park. They're not looking for grand gestures or extravagant dates. What matters to them is being with you, soaking up your presence, sharing laughter and conversation. It's these little moments that mean the most. It's in these shared experiences that bonds deepen and connections strengthen. It's about creating memories together, memories that they can look back on with a smile. So if they're always trying to hang out, it might be a sign. Eighth sign, gifts. Now, isn't this an intriguing one? Gifts are a universal language of affection and appreciation. In fact, it's a tradition as old as time itself. A person who fancies you may often present you with gifts, regardless of their size or simplicity. It could be as grand as a piece of jewelry or as humble as a cup of your favorite coffee. The act of gift giving is a clear sign of thoughtfulness. It shows that the person has you in their thoughts and they want to make you happy. They'll remember your likes, dislikes, and even the most inconsequential conversations just to surprise you with something you love. The gift itself is not as important as the sentiment behind it. So if you notice someone constantly giving you gifts for no specific reason, it might not be just because they're generous. It's their way of expressing their affection for you. If they're always giving you gifts, it could be a sign. Ninth sign, being special. It's a feeling that can't be described in a few words. When someone is attracted to you, they'll often want to occupy a unique space in your life, a space that's reserved just for them. It's a space where they're not just another face in the crowd, not just another name on your contact list, but someone who matters, someone who's special. They don't want to be just another friend. They want to be the one who you turn to when you're happy, the one you seek out when you're sad, the one who's there for you when you need them most. They want to be the one who makes you smile, the one who makes your heart skip a beat, the one who you can't imagine your life without. So if they're always trying to be special to you, it might be a sign. And finally, sharing secrets. When someone is drawn to you, they tend to open up and let you into their inner world. They share their deepest thoughts, their dreams, their fears, and yes, their secrets. This act of sharing secrets is not just about revealing information that is typically hidden. It's about building trust and intimacy. It's a way of saying, I trust you with this part of me that not everyone gets to see. It's also about making you a part of their inner circle. When they share their secrets with you, they're letting you know that they see you as someone special, someone they can trust, someone they want to be close to. So the next time someone shares a secret with you, take a moment to consider what it might mean. If they're always sharing secrets with you, it could be a sign they're into you. So, there you have it. We've journeyed together through the 10 signs that someone might be into you, from the intensity of eye contact and the warmth of a smile, to the subtle art of flirting and the intimate act of sharing secrets. Keep your eyes open for these signs, but remember, they're not set in stone. Everyone expresses their feelings differently. Remember, everyone is different, but these signs could be a good indication that someone likes you. Thanks for watching.